<laughs> Hi, this is Michael Buffer. Let's get ready for EJ Boxing Live. Yo, what's going on, people? EJ Boxing Live here. So we're going to discuss, yeah, who you guys think, yeah, right? You guys think of this. Who you guys think is the greatest British boxer of all time is, yeah? So I've got some people, noble names in the in the chat. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you got... Lloyd Hunnigan, Freddie, Freddie Mills, uh, Jimmy Wilder, uh, Randall Turpin, Bob Fitzsimmons, John Hayes Tracy, uh, Chris Eubank, Nigel Ben, Alan Minter, Nassim Hamid, uh, Joe Calzaghi, and Carl Froch. Um, so there's some notable names that I've got um, to do guys to ponder on. So yeah, so that was a question being asked. Um, it was a poll up on the BT Sports, actually. <laughs> On Twitter, um, who you guys think is the greatest? Actually, got a, on my Facebook group, a lot of people are debating it as well, and uh, quite a lot of people, like quite a lot of people, obviously these days they're just saying um, it's going to be Lennox Lewis, man. They're saying Lennox Lewis is, is the Lennox Lewis, and um, Anthony Joshua got in the picture because maybe he become could become in the argument. Right now, um, Joshua got some work to do though, but definitely. Um, Joshua could be in, in in the conversation. That's why it's the future. But it's it's interesting here yeah, that most of the guys we mentioned are British. They actually come from different backgrounds in terms of that. Like they were both born, they were born. And Joshua was born. They were both born in England, and like they, their parents come from different parts, different parts of the world. But um, as it's such, yeah, these guys are the greatest. You know, allowed to grow up in the system of Britain and develop to become one of the best dominant fighters in the world. Both of them, Lennox Lewis, world over. As an amateur, Andy Joshua as an amateur, um, very accomplished and uh, heavyweight. But uh, like I said, you have also you got Alan Minter who beat uh, Vito at the Fermo to capture the middleweight title, and at the time it was the undisputed because there was this one title. Uh, John H. Tracy beating um, what's his name again? Stuart Bauer. Uh, what's his name again? Mantequilla. <laughs> Not Carlos Calvillo. What's his name again? Um, ah. Oh, yeah. I should have these names rolling off my tongue as well, you know. I can never, I can never forget my man, Mantequilla Smoothies, but I don't know what I'm doing. Who is Don't hate Tracy. I don't do the little freaking... Uh, I don't know. I don't worry. It'll come back to me anyway. Um, what were the names we've got here? Lloyd Hunnigan beating Donald Curry. That was a, that at the time, Donald Curry was pound for pound, number one. And um, I don't think many people thought that Lloyd Hunnigan could bridge the gap to beat Donald Curry with dismantling guys, uh, dismantling guys at, at, that, at that point in time. Um, and also, you don't forget Randall Turkin, who beat the greatest of all time, one of the greatest of all time, pound for pound, Shigway Robertson. Um, both of them as well weight. So Lloyd Hunnigan and, and John Hurst John Chasey um, at well weight, they, uh, they've done some great things. Um, What's his name now? CBC. Oh, okay. Jose Napolis. He shouldn't even come to me. But Jose Napolis. Uh, John L. Tracy. Um, captured the belt from, which is uh, a tremendous accomplishment seeing you know, where he came from. And also you've got Jimmy Wilde, yeah? He's the first guy to go to America and beat the Americans. And, uh, the, Adam, the mighty actor, Jimmy, Jimmy Wilder. Don't forget him. Um, a great fighter. Dominated. Most, got all of, most of my Hall of Fame on his record. Um, Bob Fitzsimmons, the first British um, light heavyweight and heavyweight champion, um, beating uh, James J. Corbett um, to catch the belt over in America, and then obviously he lost to John, uh, uh, his name, Jim Jeffries, that he lost the belt. But epic, just, just the catch of the belt and light heavyweight champion as well. So he's there in the argument, you know what I'm saying? Remember, there was one belt. The people probably say, oh, who are these guys there? Well, that's the research. Just in. You've got Chris Eubank, beat Nigel Ben to capture his first world title and, and went on a reign and the dominance of England in the super middleweight division. Nigel Ben went over to America, beat Doug DeWitt. Um, also, Aaron Barkley come back. It was a great fight with Gerald McLennan. Um, epic, yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Gerald McLennan is obviously still... In the state, he, 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 he's he's uh, he's there, but he's not there. You know what I'm saying? So it's, that's that. Um, Nassim Hamid, one of the greatest featherweights of all time, Hall of Famer, um, 
great fight with him and Kevin Kelly, Epic, Barrera. Um, yeah, just uh, Joe Calzaghe, Jeff Lacey, uh, Mikel Kessler, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just, just epic fights with Joe Calzaghe, Wade Jones, Bernard Hopkins, he beat both of them. Um, that got him into all the fame where he's now Carl Froch. Epic, great fighter, as you know, you know what I'm saying? Went to America, beat Jermaine Taylor, Arthur Abrahams, Mikel Kessler. Didn't beat Andre Ward though, but he did beat Butte, undefeated uh, Lucia Butte. And uh, and the epic fight with him and George Groves, um, uh, domestic, domestic, beautiful fight that was there, back and forwards. Uh, that, that was a great time that so him and George Groves back, back and forwards, man. The world was captivated at that point. Um, who else we got here? Yeah, I'll go. Oh, don't forget Freddie Mills. Freddie Mills, man. Freddie Mills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Freddie Mills is a great fighter. Um, like heavyweight champion uh, in his own right. Uh, check out Freddie Mills. And um, yeah, like there's some great fighters. UK as uh, Britain and the British Isles. You know, we got you got Ireland as well, you know. We, you know, you've got fighters from Ireland. We even British, the British Isles. Um, is British Isles Ireland? Ireland is Ireland, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, I don't know if Ireland, Ireland, Northern Ireland would be called as British. Um, maybe if it's yeah, owned by Britain. But um, yeah, so there you go. That's that's the that's the um, noble names that I put in there. Who do you guys think? You know what I'm saying? Have I missed anyone? Um, what do you guys think? You think? Um, oh dear, I'm sick. Yeah, what do you guys think? Do you think um, who do you think is going to be the the, the, the British uh, champion? Um, we'd be interested to get your opinions. And um, like I said, um, let me see one moment. I'll just check this off a little quick. Yeah, like I said, isn't it? Like, it's, it's all about opinions. So uh, don't feel uh, any type of ways that that you know the it's just anyone's opinion, is it? Yeah. Oh, where's the um? Okay, she's open. I'm just having a look at. I'm looking at um Freddie Mills's uh world champion. Let me see where it was. Yeah, when he won the world championship, I know he had, a, he had an epic fight with uh, Joey Matson and then went later on to beat Shirley Robertson. Okay, the lightest, the British, the Commonwealth lightest. Oh, you fought Jack London, Freddie Mills. Jack London's there, fought Ali and uh, fought some fighters as well. And fought uh, Fred Patterson. Well, yeah, like I said, isn't it? Okay. Oh, he did. It wasn't for. Okay. He lost the. Okay. He basically had the British title. He, was, he wasn't um, Wasn't a world champion. He was the European and British had come up. Um, he had fights with. And then later on he lost uh Bruce Bruce Woodcock and then later on later on he lost to uh Joey Maxson. But definitely I'll put his name in there anyway. So anyway, what do you guys think? Tell me uh who you think. I'd like to know, very interested interested in your opinion. Oh we've got my guy. Uh we've got Mr. E Goody Good Yo. What's up? Where's Randall Turpin and Jimmy Wild? Yeah, Jimmy Wild, the ghost with with, with a hammer. <laughs> Is that what his nickname was, yeah? <laughs> yeah, you couldn't hear him. Yeah, boy, don't forget it. It goes with a hammer. That's a, that's a good nickname. But that's that's what I'm saying. Like them two names. Hey, listen, that's what I'm saying. Uh, you you can't go against them. You can't go against them. Like it's it's good to hold up for the grab, and it's still ongoing. You know, uh, UK is still developing some great fighters as we speak. Like I said to you, uh, you can with them. You're going against Lomachenko. Maybe if he beats Lomachenko, does he get into the argument? Um, I haven't mentioned Ricky Hatton, um, beating Costa Zoo. He's another one. Is he one of the greatest? Well, most people probably think no, maybe. Um, to get into that, that kind of level, it's not that many. Maybe Even some of the guys, maybe, they think, well, you got Freddie Moore's in there. Like, well, you know, so it's all opinion based. But anyway, thanks. Yeah, it's, thanks very much. Yeah, you're welcome, bro. Uh, it's all opinion based, yeah. So, there, yeah, just leave your comments in the chat and uh, we address it in the chat and uh, appreciate you guys coming over. Peace.